Hey, what is going on guys? Hex Company we're back in today with a brand new video and we're gonna be starting out a new high school DXD series that I just wanted to, you know, I just want to try it out, see how it goes, and basically we're just gonna be diving into like the characterization of characters, and yes, the title does not deceive you. This time it is. So whenever I look at Rius, I see a fragile girl only whenever it comes to Issei, kind of like Akino, but Akino we know is a more, you know, kind of like broken girl. I mean, she's been through way more than Rius ever has, but we also see, you know, that independent character, kind of like an Urza. And once again, excuse the train if you guys hear in the background, nothing I can do about that. But we see that she, you know, she's kind of like an Urza, independent, she can carry her own weight. She doesn't need to rely in or depend on other people to get tasks done, which, okay, technically she does, but you guys get what I'm saying. Now, one other character that I actually see who really just reminds me, or not necessarily even reminds me, but I see a sim you know, sl similarity to, is actually Issei. And I say that because that, you know, just wanting that person that I fall in love with to truly admire them, wanting to tell them, but them having their own reasons, you know, Reese is really kind of just being more so because of, you know, she, it's, you know, she's just scared, nervous, I guess it'd be the best way to put it, as uh, Issei is more that kind of the opposite of you know he's been burnt before but i don't want to dive into Issei's character right now because obviously i want to do that later actually in the very beginning two seasons of dxd or it may have just been the, fir the first two cores of the first season is what i'm referring to I i'm pretty sure we have to see that Rius actually is really kind of she sticks to the script right in the sense of she's royalty so she does call Issei and them her servants i mean she even states that Issei is her favorite servant in front of the other servants which is kind of Kind of degrading in a way so we do see that she was she did have that like dark ass kind of personality you know what i mean she like it's kind of like she treat she was a noble and she treated people who were inferior with respect sure but she definitely made sure they kind of knew that they were not on her level you are my servant i am your master and that was something that really just kind of caught my eye you know in the first season because you'll see as like season two if you go back and rewatch if you if you're you know questioning me You'll see, like, season two and season three, like, she doesn't, she, like, the farther the show goes on, the less she treats them as servants and the more she treats them as genuinely her friends. And given, yes, that she, she does always treat them, you know, treats them as her friends, let, let's be honest, but really, whenever it comes down to it, she talks to them as servants, like, I mean, she refers to them, but now she, you know, she starts to refer to them as, you know, as their names, Issei, Akino, you know, Kiba, she doesn't treat them or, in or refer to them as something other than her friend. And to actually be truthfully honest, you know, when I first watched, you know, started watching DXD, I felt as if I was kind of, kind of like, I, I didn't know what to think of Rius, I liked her character, but I felt conflicted because, I mean, you could be nice to someone, but still, you know, be kind of self-righteous, you know what I mean? You can act stuck up, but you can act respectful to someone at the same time. And I, she actually kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I wonder your guys' opinion. But that's all for Rius. I leave down in the comments below if you guys did actually enjoy this video. Leave down in the comments below. Do you want me to make more of these? Do you not want me to make more of these? You know, it's really just kind of a discussion about characters and me just going over the characterization and what we know about them and me just kind of like diving a little bit deeper into it and giving my thoughts on their personas per se you know on their characters so i'm just calling these you know high school dxd rius a deeper look it was probably something i'll be it'll probably be called a deeper look i don't know high school dxd rius a deeper look yeah i guess we'll go with that but <laughs> guys most importantly leave down in the comments below if you guys did enjoy this all right that's the most important thing because i i want to know if you guys want to keep doing these or not because I, I i feel as if i'm just trying to make sure they're not empty i don't want to talk about characterization that was already there i just want to expand on that characterization and give kind of like review it you know i'm kind of reviewing the characters characterization it's really the best way to put it so you know it's just a new thing you, sometimes you gotta throw things you know you gotta throw some sticky things at the wall and see what, what sticks and what does not i mean whether some people view this as empty or not if you guys enjoy it i don't really care but as always you guys you guys have been hex sure to like comment subscribe follow twitter x25 see you guys next time peace thanks for watching guys